It is really dark in here and I can't see walking like this. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Good morning guys, I am still in Walin, Taiwan this morning, hanging out at World Inn Hostel and I actually met a couple people here and they're going to come hiking with me in Taroko National Park. So this would be really beautiful. There's like a gorge, there's bridges. Medium scared because we're renting a scooter to get there. There's good hospitals in Taiwan if something bad happens. Christine and I are gonna share one. Because sharing's caring. It's also cheaper. Let's ride. It was epic. We're almost to the park, but we decided to take a little pit stop at this place that our hostel recommended, and there's supposed to be a pretty epic view out into the ocean and of the mountains. If the drive is any indication, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Pit stop. Let's keep driving to find some trails. We just arrived at Taroko National Park. It seems like it's a pretty popular tourist destination. Maybe not everyone likes to actually hike, they just come to the trailhead and look around. No, I really like getting out into nature and not being around a bunch of people, so we'll see if we get lucky. The trail's finally starting to thin out a little bit. It's getting a little rougher. I think we're allowed to keep going, but maybe not. It's getting a little rougher. I think that's the other guy from our hostel. I think it's Rob. What's up, dude? Hello. I've been swimming, so oh, nice. I'm on my way up. Yeah, we gained a group member. I don't know why, because I'm very far away from Hawaii, but I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park and a Trinosaurus Rex or Velociraptor or something is going to jump out at me at any time. It's so gorgeous, oh my gosh. I stopped to fly the drone and my friends went and walked ahead of me. So I need to go catch up. YouTube problems when you aren't traveling with other YouTubers. So I ran all the way back to the beginning of the trailhead trying to catch up with my friends and I never saw them. So I either passed them, and they were like in the river or something, or they're waiting for me somewhere. They don't have cell service, so I can't call them. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. 
don't see them. I think that means I passed them, right? I don't know how I did that. Too fast. The good news is I have the keys to the scooter. And there's snacks in the scooter. I found them! I was right, I missed them. We finally found that other trail we were looking for. It was really confusing because we don't have like cell service or the like map is hard to figure out where you are on this road, but Oh, and all the signs are in Chinese, so if it says where you are, we don't know what it says. There's a bit of a line to cross the bridge. It's for the best. We don't want it to collapse while we're on it because there's too many people. We're almost to the bridge. Yay! So close. Actually, we are here. We got to the end of this epic bridge and it's like do not enter, so you just have to walk back. Epic bridge to nowhere. We came to find another trail. I think we have a little bit of time before the sun goes down. The trail brought us to this really dark tunnel. And we're gonna go in. It is really dark in here and I can't see walking like this. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Maybe you should point the flashlight <laughs> if you're in front of you. Okay, it wasn't as scary as we thought it was going to be. I was scared for a second though. It was, it was pitch black. I also had sunglasses on. Aren't you glad we came through? Yeah, it was only 10 meters, but yeah, I'm glad we made it. I'm glad we survived. Scooter! Day of epic hiking is over. Going back to the hostel. We survived the scooter ride and have arrived back in the hostel. I am freaking exhausted. That drive was amazing and beautiful, but kind of nerve-wracking. Let me know what you thought of all those amazing drone shots. I'll see you soon.